Do you wake up feeling sluggish? Do you feel a lack of lumens? Do your friends make fun of you because you don't have enough lumens? Well, now you can get the X7R for 40% off only November 25th, the entire day. Let's take a look at the box of the X7R Marauder. We've got the 12,000 lumens here. Uh, four 18650 batteries are built in, and it has USB Type-C charging. All right, five-year warranty, of course, on this guy. And we've got some specifications here on the back. So 12,000 lumens on turbo mode. That goes down to 3,000 lumens after three minutes. That's pretty solid runtime at 12,000 uh, lumens. Um, there's some really nice heat sinks and that kind of thing on this light, so it helps it stay cool even at that 12,000 lumen mode. Uh, turbo, the, uh, the second turbo mode is 7,000 lumens. Again, goes down to 3,000, and this is for 12 minutes. And then the, uh, the high mode is 3,000 lumens, which is that drop down, um, and that's for two hours and 10 minutes straight, so it actually doesn't drop down from 3,000 lumens, which I think is impressive. Um, so that means that it stays cool for a very long time at 3,000 lumens, it's awesome. And then it has 1,000 lumens on medium mode, six hours. Low mode, 500 lumens at 14 hours. And then the night light mode, um, which is a little bit brighter than a moonlight, that's why we call it a night light, which is 10 lumens, and that will last a full 30 days. In distance, 380 meters. Okay, IPX7 rated. We got a 23.5 ounce weight. And that is with the batteries included. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Got a uh, cool little skeleton fix blade here today. So we'll just open this here on the top. Ooh, love taking off the wrapper. Now, it's really cool the way that this opens up. It's like a book. So we'll just open it up this way. There's the big disclaimer here. So there's actually a little film on the front of the lens. You can actually already see it without me even pulling this out. So there's this little tab here. You wanna pull that off before you start going into the higher modes because that sucker's gonna get hot on the front lens and you don't want this to, uh, to melt. But this is on here for shipping purposes so the lens doesn't get scratched um, you know, before you get it. So let's go ahead and pull the light out and remove this film. There we go. Okay, and you can see the three XHP70 LEDs there. All right, right here is a proximity sensor, which we'll, we'll show you here in a minute. And then we also have the, uh, the really cool illuminated side switch here. All right, and then the tail cap is really awesome. So the way that you open this up is you basically just twist. So there's a lot of grip right here. So you just twist back and forth to open and close the charging port. And you can see it is USB Type-C. We also have a really cool lanyard design here. So this just pops open. And the reason for that is this allows you to be able to use actual uh, 550 paracord in here. Um, obviously the smaller lanyards that we have for the EDC lights isn't really gonna hold the weight up of this light very well. So because of that, we wanna allow you to use a, uh, a, a thicker uh, thread if you'd like to, um, but you can also put this down so there's not some big hole somewhere on the light if you don't really want to use a lanyard, all right? And there's a nice little audible click when you open and close that. We'll go ahead into the other part. So right here it has a little like minimalist drawings of the accessories that you get. I think that's pretty cool. So open this up. We immediately get to the user manual. Here's a little uh, pamphlet for some other products. Here is a sheath. Should definitely be able to fit a gun belt. We have the USB Type-C uh, cable here. And then we have the wall mount here, so just USB here, Type-C into the light. Okay, and then it actually comes with a thicker, larger lanyard here. All right, so you have this little wrist strap here that can cinch up. And then this part right here, you can just feed it through the, uh, the hole here uh, if you wanna pull this up, feed it through. I'm a really big fan of the different types of machining all over this thing. It really just demonstrates you know, what we can do with our CNC machines. Um, so you see you have these really deep milled lines going vertically this way, all right? 
And then you also have these smaller lines here that gives you good grip to open the, uh, the tail cap here for charging. And then it has these really big heat sinks going around here. And then it also has these really deep milled finger grooves in the back too, which fit perfectly with your three fingers here. You can hold the back right here with your first finger and then manipulate it with your thumb. So a lot of thought went into this. Um, you know, a lot of machining went into this. We could have made it a little bit more boring looking, um, spent less time making these, but we decided to, you know, spend the extra money, spend more time making these and uh, make them as cool and as comfortable to hold as possible. Now we'll just go ahead and turn the light on real quick. And there you go. Now, the first thing about this light is it has a motion sensor inside of it. So when you first pick it up, uh, anytime that the light actually moves whatsoever, there's going to be a green LED that's actually inside the switch right here that will turn on. Obviously, since it's not dark right here, you can't see it too well, but you may be able to kind of make it out there. So that switch will turn green. The reason for that is you don't have to search around and locate for the switch. If it's super dark, you might be feeling around for the switch. So this way you can actually see it no matter what. Another cool thing on this light is a proximity sensor here. So I will go ahead and put it on a super high mode, put it close to my hand, and then you can see it actually going down in output. The reason for that is because this light is so bright and it produces so much heat here on the front that if it's next to a flammable material or something like that, it could actually do, uh, do some damage. So, the reason for that is say that you throw this in a backpack full of clothes and it accidentally turns on on turbo mode. Uh, you don't want it to burn a hole in your clothes. So because of that, it will go down in brightness automatically by itself. Now the way the light works is you'll go ahead and turn it on like normal. You can hold the switch down and that'll cycle through low, medium and high, the standard modes. You can double tap to go to the turbo mode and then you can double tap again to go to the 12,000 turbo mode. So it has a low, medium and high and then two turbos that you access by double tapping and double tapping again. And then that night light mode you can reach by simply holding the switch down from off and that will be right there. And then if you want to ramp up again, you'll just hold the switch down and that'll go through low, medium and high. Double tap turbo, double tap turbo S. It does also feature a strobe mode. So if I just do a triple tap here, it will start to strobe on that turbo mode, which is really nice. Um, really good for self-defense. Uh, at that 12,000 lumen mode, this will definitely impair someone's vision if you shine it out their face and you do it on that strobe mode. Let's go over how this light looks through the various modes. So we'll go ahead and turn it on here and we'll just cycle through low, medium and high standard right here. So there's that high mode. So you double tap to get to turbo, double tap again to get to the 12,000 lumens and you just see how insane that looks compared to like say the M2R here on the left at that 1500 lumens. Look at that. That's incredible guys. If you're suffering from a lack of lumens, get your medicine with the 12,000 lumen X7R. This is one of my favorite Coke can style lights and the USB-C type charging is really, really convenient. November 25th, only for 40% off saves you over a hundred bucks on one of these. So please tell your friends if they're looking to get some more lumens in their life and make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you want to see more of the best of Olight, like this video to show your support and we'll see you guys on the next one.